Kalupat! Da! Kamu pandang alu, panggil putin. Pinig sa payag, mga kasama. Sinapabot ng ating mahal na Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., ang kanyang taus-pusong pasasalamat pagbibigay sa kanya ng parangal. 
Ito, mga kang ito. The arrival honors have been completed. Warm applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the President of the Republic of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Camp Brigadier General Rafael T. Crame, the home of the National Headquarters, Philippine National Police. Today, we will witness another milestone in the history of the PNP, the change of command ceremony, retirement honors for Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr., and oath-taking and donning of rank ceremony for the 30th Chief Philippine National Police. The ceremony will now begin. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to move forward for the presentation of troops and honors. Everybody is requested to rise. Tanghal! Ta! Mga pinuna. His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines, will now inspect the troops. May we request Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. to accompany our guest of honor and his speaker.
Republic of the Philippines, National Police Commission, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, Camp Brigadier General Rafael T. Crame, Quezon City. Termination of designation. Pursuant to General Order Number NHQ GO TDS 2024-1985, dated March 31, 2024. The designation of Police General Benjamin Casuga Acorda Jr. ODA 07002 as the Chief Philippine National Police is terminated effective March 31, 2024. Designation. Pursuant to General Order Number NHQ GO DS. 2024-1986, dated April 1, 2024. Police General Romel Francisco Dialect Mar Marbil, ODA 00826, is designated as the Chief Philippine National Police Effective April 1, 2024. By the direction of President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., Official Benjamin C. Abalus Jr., Secretary, Department of the Interior and Local Government, signed Belly B. Tamayo, Police Major General, the Director for Personnel and Records Management. The 29th Chief PNP, Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. will now read and sign the order for his relinquishment of command. Pursuant to General Order Number NHQ GO TDS 2024-1995, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, dated March 31, 2024, I hereby relinquish my position as Chief Philippine National Police, effective March 31, 2024, and I sign. The incoming Chief PNP, Police General Romel Francisco Marbil, will now read and sign the order for his assumption of command. Assumption of command. Pursuant to General Order Number NHQ GO DAS 2024-1986, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, dated April 1, 2024, I hereby assume the position as Chief Philippine National Police, effective April 1. 2024, and I sign. We shall now witness the turnover of command symbol. May we request the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., to rise and administer the turnover of command symbol. The turnover of the Chief PNP symbol signifies relinquishment of the outgoing Chief PNP and the acceptance of the incoming Chief PNP of the duties and responsibilities that goes with the position. The saber represents power and authority over the 228,000 members of the Philippine National Police from the 17 police regional offices and 33 national support units. Thank you, His Excellency, and congratulations, Philippine National Police. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will witness the retirement honors for Police General Benjamin Casuga Accorda Jr., the 29th Chief, Philippine National Police. Police General Accorda is requested to move at the center. We all rise for the presentation of troops and honors. Tanghal! Ta! Napinunong. Ito may. No. Baba!
The regimental commander will now present the troop for inspection. You know, and then apoa, kalupad para libutin. Police General Benjamin C. Accorda Jr. will now inspect the troops. May we request Police Lieutenant General Emmanuel B. Peralta to accompany our honoree. Once again, congratulations, sir, Police General Accorda, and to our presenters, kindly be seated. Now, we will hear the valedictory of the honoree, Police General Benjamin Kasuga Accorda, Jr. To our guest of honor and speaker, who will be introduced later, His Excellency, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr., sir, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, at the same time our Commander-in-Chief. <laughs> the Executive Secretary, Retired Chief Justice Lucas Bersamin, sir. The Secretary of the Department of Interior and Local Government, Attorney Benjamin Abalos, Jr., sir. To the incoming Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Romel Francisco Marbil. Oh. Other distinguished guests, friends, 
My classmate from the Philippine Military Academy, some BGC class of 1991, the commanders of area police commands, members of the PNP director staff, personal staff, director of the national support units, regional directors, district directors of NCRPO, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to all. On April 24, 2023, here on the same ground, I stood before you and committed myself to do my best and lead by example as your 29th Chief of the Philippine National Police. As I address you this momentous morning, I am filled with mixed emotions. As I bow down, I am overwhelmed with sense of accomplishment, gratitude, and nostalgia. Una sa lahat, gusto ko pong pasalamatan ang Panginoon sa patnubay at kalaman na maglingkod sa bayan. To our President, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Sir, my heartfelt gratitude for trusting me to lead the 232,000 strong police force. Your visionary has been the driving force behind our achievements. Your call for a united police force has deeply resonated within our ranks. And with your administration support, we have made significant accomplishments in capacity building and implemented systematic approach to maintain law and order. I sincerely hope that during my 11 months tenure as Chief PNP, our contributions have aligned with your aspirations for a bagong Pilipinas, building a more peaceful, just, and humane society, paving the way towards a more comfortable life for every Filipino. Under your direction, we have embarked on a journey towards a better future, and I'm honored and grateful for the opportunity to have been part of this endeavor. Sir, if I fell short of your expectations, I will take full responsibility. But I say, I did my best. If I happen to exceed your expectation, I humbly attribute our achievements to the men and women of the PNP, from the command group down to the policemen in the streets, as well as to our non-uniformed personnel, especially to the families of those who selflessly sacrificed their lives just to fulfill your marching order, that is, to make our presence felt on the streets, make the community safer, and to defend our democratic institutions, our cherished ideals. In this span of 11 months, we have achieved significant milestones. Our relentless pursuit of operational excellence and administrative efficiency has led to a notable reduction in crime rates, ensuring the safety and security of our communities. Our devotion to duty was evident in the seamless and secure conduct of various significant events, such as the 2023 Barangay and Sangunyang Kabataan elections, the celebration of Bundas 2023, and the Yuletide season of 2023, the Philippine hosting of the FIBA World Cup, SONA 2023, and others. Through collaborative efforts with various government agencies, we have proven that unity can yield extraordinary results. 
Our collective actions have earned the trust and confidence of our fellow Filipinos. With a resounding 80% expressing their trust in us, additionally, the PNP now proudly stands among the top 10 government agencies boasting a 100% resolution rate in complaints referred by the Civil Service Commission contact number or contact center ng Bayan. Our unrelenting efforts have significantly contributed to the country being ranked as the third safest in Southeast Asia as per 2023 Global Law and Order Report by Gallup. As I personally push for the upliftment of the morale and welfare of our personnel, on March 25, 2024, we have promoted a record of 49,125 second-level officers from police lieutenant colonels to police corporal. This achievement will be forever adds in my heart. With a sense of accomplishment to have rewarded the sacrifices and hard work of our PNP personnel. Your commitment, even at the risk of sacrificing your lives, epitomizes true service to our nation. These unprecedented, unpre unprecedented milestones are not possible if not by the unity and harmonious collaboration, coordination, and support of our units. As I pass the leadership baton to the capable hands of the 30th Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Romel Francisco Marbil, I want to express my sincere gratitude and apprehension to, appreciation to all your support, faith, and trust. To the men and women of the PNP, thank you for your unwavering commitment to Servicio Nagkakaisa. I am proud to have served alongside each one of you. None of these achievements would have been possible without your passion, hard work, and sacrifices. I also express my gratitude to all the units where I had the privilege to lead and serve. The Directorate for Intelligence, Police Regional Office 10, CIDG, ACG, IMEG, NCRPO, Basilan PPO, Ilocos Norte PPO, and Pro 4B. I likewise extend my appreciation to the Secretary of the Department of Interior and Local Government, Attorney, Abalos, Attorney Benjamin Abalos Jr., sir, to the members of the command group, directoral staff, APC commanders, regional directors, NSU directors, and my personal and special staff. To PMA some busy class of 1991, my dear classmates, I am very much grateful that through your support, we have transformed and built a better PNP. To the individuals I consider as silent workers who have supported me behind the scenes, they are my friends who have provided never-ending support during crucial times. I may not be able to mention their names, but they know who they are. Their support truly means a lot to me. I would like to acknowledge also our PNP Press Corps and all our media friends. Your continued support has been helpful, not only to my leadership, but to the, to the entire PNP. Your fair and objective reporting greatly contributed to fostering transparency and understanding between the PNP and the public. Also, my sincerest appreciation to all our stakeholders, particularly our civil society groups and PNP advisory groups from various sectors. Thank you for your continued support and partnership. A special mention also to my long departed boss and mentor, Police General Leandro Mendoza, the former Chief PNP, Chief PNP, whose professional ethics and conduct of service became my standard 
in public service. I would be remiss not to acknowledge the pillars of my strength, my family, my parents who instilled in me the values of honor, duty, and service. Thank you. Though my father is no longer with us, I feel his presence in the ideals he imparted. My mother, Mrs. Purification Accorda, who until this day has been my biggest motivator and critic. To my siblings, Aurora, Trinidad, Vic, and Philip, thank you for your unending support. To my loving wife, Oliva, and children, JR, Andrew, Louis, and Nicole, you have been my bedrock, my confidante, and my inspiration. Thank you so much for all the years, love, support, and understanding. Looking back on my 37 years, one month, and nine days of military and police service, I take great pride in saying I have done my best and will always cherish the moments I spent with all of you. As I hung my blue uniform, I am humbled and honored to have served alongside such extraordinary individuals. May we continue to be blessed by our almighty creator as we strive to provide service that unifies and uplifts. Sir, as I bow down from the PNP organization, I assure you that I will leave a united professional and dedicated police force with burning sense of patriotism. Sa lahat po ng nandirito ngayon, bawat miyembro ng kapulisan at sa buong sambayan ng Pilipino, I am proud to say that we have a patriotic president who puts the best interest of the country above anything else. Sinasabi ko po ito, hindi dahil ikaw ang aming commander-in-chief, sir, but because in all my meetings and dealings with you, Mr. President, naramdaman ko po ang totoong pagmamahal ninyo sa bansa. I am happy to have served and lead the PNP organization with you as our Commander-in-Chief. Maraming maraming salamat po. At sa muli, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay ang servisyong nagkakaisa. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. And I salute you. Thank you very much, sir. Police General Benjamin Kasuga Accorda, Jr. We shall now come to the oath-taking, donning of ranks to the newly appointed Chief PNP. The Director for Personal and Records Management, Police Major General Belly B. Tamayo, will now read the promotion orders. Republic of the Philippines National Police Commission, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, Camp Brigadier General Rafael T. Crame, Quezon City. Promotion pursuant to General Order Number NHQ-GO-PR-2024-1994, National Headquarters, Philippine National Police, dated April 1, 2024. Police Major General Romel Francisco Dailig Marbil. ODA 00826 is promoted to the rank of Police General in permanent status, effective April 1, 2024. By the direction of President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr., Official Benjamin C. Abalos, Jr., Secretary, Department of the Interior and Local Government, signed Beli Bitamayo, Police Major General, the Director for Personnel and Records Management. At this moment, we shall witness the oath-taking and donning of ranks of the 30th Chief PNP. To administer the oath is the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus, Jr. For the solemnity of the ceremony, everybody is requested to rise.
Congratulations, warm applause, ladies and gentlemen. And now, may, may we request for the donning of the new rank insignia, may we request the president. Likewise, may we request our SILG Secretary Benjamin C. Abolos Jr., the Department of Local Interior and Local Government. To our audience, Please be seated. So at this time, we are witnessing the new rank insignia is being done by the President of the Republic of the Philippines. Together with SILG Secretary Benjamin Abalos Jr., Likewise, the new Persian cap is presented. Thank you very much. Warm applause, ladies and gentlemen, and hail to the new Chief Philippine National Police. A top commander, uh, please give the uh, tickets by now. Tika! Na! Mga pinuro, Tika, pahinga. Our Excellency uh, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., sir, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, with our Chief Justice uh, Lucas P. Bersamin, our Executive Secretary, Attorney Benjamin C. Abalos Jr., our Secretary for the ILG, and the outgoing uh, Chief PNP, uh, my classmate, General Acorda. To other esteemed guests present today, my fellow Pilipinos, magadang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ang pangarap ko ay pangarap nyo rin. Patatag na ekonomiya, maayos na lipunan, at maayos na kapulisan. Yan po ang unang kataga na sinabi ng ating presidente during the inauguration. Ang masasabi ko po sa anyong Excellency, Sir, matutupad po. First, my deepest gratitude goes to our Almighty God for the blessing with this opportunity to serve my beloved country and fellow Filipinos. I'm truly grateful to our President, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. for the honor you bestowed upon me today. Thank you, Pusa. 
by entrusting me with this significant responsibility. Thank you for your trust and confidence in me to lead the Philippine National Police. And I assure you that all dedicated members of the PNP stand ready to work tirelessly with you to drive real change toward achieving the collective vision of a bagong Pilipinas. Honorable Secretary Benjamin Abalos Jr. of the Department of Interior Local Government, Sir, thank you for your commitment and support to the PNP. To Police General Benjamin Accordia Jr., on behalf of the officers, staff, and women of the Philippine National Police, Sir, thank you for your leadership, loyalty, and dedication and service. My family, especially my beloved wife, Rose, our daughter, Robin, who is at the heart of both our joy and pride and inspiration, my parents, Milano and Felicitas Marbel, and my brothers, thank you so much for your unconditional love and support. Rose, I know that it is not easy being married to a policeman. I remain ever so thankful for your unselfish love and un understanding taking care of our family when I am away on missions and assignments. You are the, the true anchor of our family. This year, 2024, is my 33rd year of service in the Philippine National Police. Throughout the years, I have witnessed the enormous amount of change that our society has undergone and the rate of speed in which these changes have occurred and are occurring. These present-day social and techno technological changes have an enormous influence and impact in policy. The growth of public infrastructure has led to greater accessibility and enhanced mobility with tools of instantaneous communication, visual and audio, including social media. Many Filipinos are able to communicate their content and discontent, their needs and expectations of good and respons responsive public service on both the national and global stage. We are also seeing new forms of criminal criminality evolve wherever there is an opportunity to exploit the weaknesses that advancement brings. The dynamics of society in which we operate are changing and with it, it, and with it our scope of responsibility are evolving. Yet, despite all this, our goals and duties as law enforcers remain absolutely and irrevocably the same. The Philippine National Police has seen noteworthy progress and benefited from the vision, leadership, and achievements of my predecessors throughout the years. As the 30th Chief of the Philippine National Police, it is my intention to build on the strides made so far to ensure that there is both continuity and improvement, that the PNP remains effective at its job while evolving to become a modern Filipino police force for a modern Filipino society. To increase our effectivity as an organization and as individual law enforcers, we will focus on three things. First, the quality of leadership, knowledge and ability, and professionalism within the ranks. Second, expanding our ability to uphold the law, maintain order, and fight local and transnational crimes in all forms and manifestations. To this end, we commit to utilizing the best and innovative practices in law enforcement. And third, but not the least, we will strive to increase the level of trust that the people we protect have in us. We will focus on increased community satisfaction in our work as a key benchmark of our progress. We will work on enhanced partnerships with the local community because safety and order ultimately require our collaborative efforts. I am therefore committed to ensuring that each and every member of the Philippine National Police, including future recruits, will be supported in developing, improving, and refining the skills that are needed in our line of work and for your career and progression as law enforcers. More than ever, we need officers possessed with critical thinking and problem-solving skills to address the many unique situations that arise and in particular, to become catalysts for the changes we need in the organization, to become better and more efficient at what we do. We need officers who can communicate with public well, display empathy and 
conduct themselves at all times responsibly, ethically, and morally. We need officers who recognize that it is simply not enough to act decisively, relentlessly, and fast in the war against crime, but that there must be also be accountability and transparency on our end. And most importantly, we will nurture police officers to whom a human approach to law enforcement is a given. Investing in you is an investment in the future of the Philippine National Police. Remember to the, the PNP, you are your, your mentors, teachers, trainers, and leaders by example. To the incoming generation of police officers who will one day take our place. With our president's call for Bagong Pilipinas, the Philippine National Police has the unique opportunity to re-envision many of its management and operational approaches. We will be looking at the infrastructure and membership of this organization critically, employing a holistic approach to assess and determine ways by which we can increase effectivity, efficiency, and productivity throughout the 17 police regional offices, 102 provincial and city police offices, and 1,824 city and municipal police stations that spread across the 17 regions of the Philippines. There will be emphasis on developing and improving, improving competen competencies and compliance, optimization of resources, responsible cost allocations, em elimination of redundancies, increased safety and well-being of police officers, and adoption of systems and processes that will facilitate positive and su sustainable changes. Leadership, by example, will be the backbone of our operational motto as we continue the fight against illegal drugs, domestic crime and violence, organized crime, human trafficking, radicalization, violent extremists, terrorism, cybercrime, and other transnational and non-traditional security challenges. We shall place utmost importance on pol police community engagement, working together in reducing crime through education, community partnerships and policing, and the use of emerging technology and social media. As we put transformative policies in place, we shall also seek for the seamless alignment with other Philippine government agencies for collaborative undertakings when and where necessary. We shall aim to have shorter lines of communications, improve coordination and readiness, as well as clearly defined parameters of tasks and responsibilities. Furthermore, in our role as international partners of law enforcement agencies for other countries, fighting transborder criminality and terrorism, we shall be vigilant and uncompromising in using all means at our disposal to stop these global threats from gaining a solid foothold in our society. The Philippine National Police recognizes that effective law enforcement nowadays requires competency and innovation in the use and application of technology to its overall operation and daily work. While I recognize that putting a comprehensive technology infrastructure in place is one of the major challenges for the PNP. I am confident that, that, that with careful management and selective priorities, we can achieve this goal in a timely fashion. To begin, we shall prioritize integrating the PNP secured mobile artificial intelligence driven and real time smart policing program and ICT development roadmap in our operations, including an active drive to recruit and train a new generation of police officers and support staff with technical expertise in specialized IT skills. In closing, mahusay, matatag, at maaasahan na kapulisan. This is our promise and commitment to our country as we undertake the internal and external changes necessary to improve our services to you. Expect that your PNP will do its best to safeguard the community it serves because we understand how safety, peace, and order are intrinsically connected to economic growth and progress. Itataguyod natin ang isang ligtas na bagong Pilipinas 
ligtas na tahanan at ligtas na pamayanan. I look forward to my duties and I thank the President, our Secretary, and the PNP and the community in advance for their active participation and support in realizing a safe country for all. May God continue to bless all of us and give us strength and inspiration in the work we do. Dito, sa bagong Pilipinas, isa lang ang gusto ng pulis, ligtas ka. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you and congratulations, sir. Manda. Lupa! Da! To introduce our honored guests, may we request retired Chief Justice Lucas P. Bersamin, Executive Secretary, Office of the President of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Executive Secretary uh, Luke Bersamin. Uh, please uh, take your seats. Troop Commander, will you give uh, the order of Tikas Pahinga once again? Tika! Na! No, no. Tika. Na. To uh, the excellencies of the diplomatic corps, Interior and Local Government Secretary uh, Ben Hur Abalos Jr., the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Romeo S. Browner, Jr., and the Major Service Commanders here today. Outgoing Chief, Philippine National Police General, Benjamin C. Acorda, Jr. Our incoming Chief, Philippine National Police General, Romel Francisco Marville. Officers and civilian employees of the Philippine National Police, my fellow workers in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today, what we witness is not just a change of command, but a pledge to stay the course and to step up work. In the PNP, leadership changes and new assignments are given, but the mission remains to serve and to protect our people. One, also, one goal also remains constant for the PNP, that the PNP does not sit content on its laurels won, but works hard to win more so. The PNP tradition that as soon as the bar is surpassed, it is then raised. The drive to do better, to push harder, is what has fueled the PNP's aspiration to set new standards. This ceremony is not meant as a farewell to General Acorda, but a chance to acknowledge and congratulate him for his efforts, his patriotism, his unwavering dedication to ensuring the safety and security of our people. During his time as Chief PNP, he introduced the Five Focused Agenda, which guided the organization towards more honest law enforcement operations, enhanced information technology capabilities, and stronger community relations. The PNP's efforts in combating various forms of crime have yielded tangible results, which exhibit the diligence of our officers and personnel, as well as the effectiveness of our programs. In a survey conducted by Okta Research last year, the PNP was recognized as the third highest performing and most trusted among 25 government agencies in the second quarter of 2023, <laughs> receiving a 76% trust rating. This indicates the public's increasing trust and confidence in the police force. With all these, 
I believe the best send-off gift that we can give General Accorda is neither the usual memorabilia nor the typical testimonials. The best parting token that we can offer him is the pledge to exceed what he has done during his watch and to continue the good work that he has begun. I am sure nothing will make General Benji Accorda happier than seeing the organization he loves so much, able to undo all the previous achievements of the PNP. So for all these and more, I congratulate and salute General Accorda for a job well done. Now, we pass the privilege of leading the PNP to be a more efficient, transparent, and trustworthy in these challenging and promising times. With our heartfelt congratulations, we welcome Police General Romel Francisco Marbil, who will assume the responsibilities of the 30th Chief of the Philippine National Police. <laughs> Police General Marbil, you have my full confidence and my full support as you begin to champion a police that is pro-God, pro-country, pro-people, pro-environment. Let us work closely with you in, under, in addressing emerging threats such as cybercrime, terrorism, and transnational crimes. We shall continue to uphold the highest standards of professionalism and give the finest service to our beloved citizens. Let us now ensure that the PNP will be agents of progressive transformation in the lives of our people by ensuring the safety and well-being of every community in the land. And so before I close, I wish to extend my gratitude to the more than 230,000 men and women of the PNP who have been instrumental to the success of your organization and our development as a nation. I wish to extend my sincere appreciation to your families for their sacrifices and those sacrifices that they continue to make as they understand the demands attached to the uniform that you wear. With Police General Marbil as our 30th PNP Chief, I enjoin everyone to face the coming days with even greater fervor, determination, and optimism to achieve our goals and aspirations for the nation. Let us remain vigilant in the face of challenges and opportunities as we strive to build a Bagong Pilipinas where everyone can thrive and live in peace. Mabuhay ang ating kapulisan. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinos. Maraming salamat at magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Pasulong! Ladies and gentlemen, the pass in review.